turned out to be a match packed with incident. The first half wasn't a Palace Garden party, more like a match at Twickenham, with plenty of rucks and mauls. Swindon's Ian Culverhouse was ruled to have wrestled Bruce Dyer to the floor. But Dyer dusted himself down and delivered from the spot to give the Palace the lead. And then Swindon's Scott Leach hacked down Palace's Doogie Friedman to set up a maul. No advantage resulted for either side. Leach and Palace's Simon Roger were booked. But then Swindon equalised. Mark Walters swung over a free kick. Wayne Allison managed to connect with a superb header in a congested penalty area. And then Walters was bundled over by Viet. Another maul ensued. Swindon's Elkins was booked. Managers say it's a battle to get out of the first division. Palace and Swindon were taking that assessment quite literally. Whether tranquilizers were added to the half-time tea or not, both sides calmed down in the second period. Two minutes after the break, Leach centred for Peter Thorne to plant a header past Palace keeper Chris Day. Swindon were constructive and effective, but keeper Frank Talia came to their rescue with an elastic tip over from Viet. Walters, the target for plenty of rough stuff from the Palace, eventually lost patience and his temper and was sent off near the end. 